Hey, what's going on everyone? Hayes, the veterinarian, sneakerhead, hence the name, the shoe vet. Today's sneaker reform, we're going over what I believe is one of Nike's most intricate, one of the most hot releases this year in 2020, the Nike Space Hippie number three to be exact. There's four, there's four different iterations of it coming out. Five you include, you know, the four being, you know, a women's, and then they also made a men's shoe for it too as well. But yeah, I think everyone's going for the three for the most part. I don't really have too much extra to say, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. this review is going to be going over the Nike Space Hippie number three out of the pack of four that is coming at you guys on Thursday, 7 a.m. Pacific time, $180 the retail price for this. Throughout the video though, I'll kind of be comparing this shoe and this shoe right here. I've seen a lot of people kind of going back and forth, comparing and contrasting between the Space Hippie 03 as well as the Balenciaga Speed Trainer. I definitely can see a lot of similarities and why they kind of think that, but to me, I mean, they're, they're separate shoes for different purposes. So yeah, I'll be kind of running in and out with that. If you guys want an actual full dedicated video between difference between this and this, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Tell me, hey, we want that comparison video. I'll get that worked up, okay? Now, starting out with the presentation, we gotta go over this shoe box, and this shoe box already raises a lot, you know, controversy. So, the shoe box is actually the mailbox. Like, when I walked out to my door, this is what I was greeted with. It does not have the Nike just do a tape on there. All it has on the side is just the sizing tag. I got mine to the size nine and a half. This box is made out of recycled material, so it's part of Nike's push to kind of go, you know, real eco-friendly with this line of shoes. I know a lot of people have a lot of gripes with Nike with the Just Do It sticker because, you know, it's almost like a big alarm, like, you know, hey, hey, this is, this is a Nike product right here, take me, take me, and who knows, you know, somebody may get lucky and, you know, somebody may hit a lick and get lucky and get, you know, a Travis Scott shoe or an off-white shoe, you know? But, you know, this right here, you know, I'm a little bit indifferent because it doesn't have that big old glaring, you know, just do it tape. But it does have the sizing tag on the side. So it's just like, well, you definitely know it's a shoe. Maybe, maybe it's a little more incognito if they have the sizing tag away from the outside and then you see a longitudinal box. But at the end of the day, if people want to steal, people going to steal. So that's enough about the outside of the box. When you get to the inside of the box, you do have a lot of writing on here. So this ink is a plant-based ink. Once again, Nike's push to go eco-friendly, go green. I'm not gonna read everything on here though, but basically, you know, Nike, Space Hippie. You do have a little QR reader. You do have a little QR code that you can scan. And basically when you scan it, it brings you to a web page that, you know, really goes a little more in depth with the Space Hippie program. We're not gonna get into all that. There's a lot of other videos on there right now, but basically it's just Nike going green. The only other thing inside of the box that you do get this little tote bag, and I'm, I'm not really sure what the material is, but I would not be surprised if it's some type of recycled material. You do have the little Nike swoosh pinwheel on one side, as well as Nike Space Hippie on the other. I don't know, I feel like tote, I feel like tote bags, especially this year, and maybe they never went out, I don't know, but I feel like this year especially, tote bags were really in style. In my opinion, this is like my third one that I've gotten in like the past couple of weeks. So it could be just been me thing, I don't know. And yeah, there are no other accessories, there are no other laces or anything like that because nowhere to put laces on this shoe. So let's go ahead and dive into the shoe. Now on this little presentation of this shoe, I really do dig this look. It definitely is a real sleek and sexy looking shoe. 
It's really intricate, really gives me a lot of spacey vibes, which really goes with the whole theme of space hippie. Really lightweight, and it's actually really comfortable, but I'll go over comfort later on in the video as usual. Now, getting to the upper of the shoe, most of the upper is comprised of a, quote, space waste yarn, unquote. Space waste yarn is basically 85% of recycled plastics, t-shirts, and yarn that kind of, you know, helps tie everything together. As far as colors, it's primarily a base gray color, but you do have some hits of white, and orange and black. Moving down the tongue, you do have this large nylon strip that acts as a pull tab that help put the shoe on. On top of that nylon strip, you do have Nike that's embroidering, kind of like a kind of like a creamy off-white color. Down the bottom of this pull tab, you have the Nike Swoosh in 03. Moving a little more cranily towards the end of the toe box, you do have the Nike Swoosh that is an orange with some black trimming. Around the mud guard of the shoe, you do have, well, it's still that space waist yarn, but around the mud guard basically of it, the stitching is a little bit different. It feels a little more feels a little more sturdy and I guess it's to kind of help hold the shape of the shoe Which makes perfect sense in comparison to the speed trainer. I mean the entire upper. I mean it's bland It's a super clean shoe. This knitting isn't really anything special I don't really feel any differences in the texture of the knitting towards the toe box The only thing that I feel stability wise the shoe has is towards the Achilles on the back now back to the space tip If we move back caudally towards the back part of the shoe We are met with in my opinion is the coolest part of the shoe this fast fit locking system So what this fast fit locking system is, is that on each side of is that on each side on the medial and lateral aspect of the mid of the upper You do have these little silicone panels that have a backward Nike swoosh on it kind of weaving in and out of these silicone patterns like these little like little wires that are super super thin and really delicate both these silicone panels communicate with each other via this large like little lace loop thing here you do have the words pull on the top so of course when you pull it it you know brings them together and locks in the shoe when we move back even further to the back of the shoe we do have another white nylon strip you got the nike pinwheel that is important and that creamy off-white color this again is kind of help put in the shoe and i will admit Putting on the shoe is a little, a little bit of a delicate process. It didn't really take too much for me to really put this shoe on because I'm used to it having the speed trainer. I know how to put on sock shoes pretty easily, but I will say as far as difficulty, this shoe is a little bit harder to slip on than my speed trainer. Moving down eventually below this, you are met with this little panel that's made of the same material as the midsole. On this panel, you do have another nylon strip of Nike embroidered horizontally. Below that, you do have another pull tab. This pull tab though is actually used to loosen the shoe. How do I know that? Is that just above it, there is like a small little area on this little panel that does say eject. So eject, get out, loosen, that. <laughs> Moving down to the midsole of the Space Hippie 03, we are met with a midsole made out of crater foam. So what crater foam is, is that it's 12% Nike grind rubber and there's a lot of different foam materials that's you know put in throughout this. It really gives it this really nice speckly look. This really makes the shoe, you know, real space dusty, you know, real Milky Way space trashy. I got a hand to Nike. Now my scale unfortunately broke, so I can't really, you know, objectify this, but just from in hand, even though the Space Hippie is more intricate than the Speed Trainer, this actually feels a lot lighter. Reason being why is because this is only 12% rubber and a lot of, you know, really lightweight foam. As opposed to this, even though this is pretty comfortable and still lightweight, I mean, this midsole and outsole is pretty much just completely rubber. It's all rubber. Back to the Space Hippie though, the outsole is that same crater foam material. What you can see poking out though from the outsole is the insole though. The insole is made out of Zoom X foam scrap materials. And I'll let you know right now, this thing is very, very comfortable. Sizing is something real important with this shoe. To me, true to size gives you a nice snug fit. If you want a little extra toe room or if you have a really, really wide foot, you can definitely go up half a size. Remember, you do have this pull tab to help tighten it down. As far as comfort goes, I mean, they really knocked out of the park with this. Uh, these shoes are very, very comfortable. Honestly, in comparison to the Speed Trainers, this is a very comfortable shoe, don't get me wrong. But if I have to give, you know, the knots one up in comfort, I definitely gotta go with the Speed Hippie. When I take a step in these shoes, I can definitely feel the compression of these shoes that, thanks to that foam, as opposed to the Speed Trainers. All that rubber is pretty, it's pretty stiff. Pretty stiff. As far as what the, as far as how to style these shoes, I mean, color-wise, you got a neutral gray as your main base color. Definitely the blue though is isn't really too hard to really pair it up with. So you know, colors like you know your blues, 
the grays, blacks, stuff like that. Definitely tone it down, but definitely look good with the shoes. You can pop out very well though, if you have some pants with maybe like some orange in them. Uh, heck, maybe I might even try a yellow. Yeah, I may see how that looks on the on foot portion. You guys let me know how it looks, but yeah, you can maybe throw in some bright colors like that too as well. As far as the cut of pants, I mean shorts, it kind of is what it is. I don't really wear shorts, so you guys have fun with that. As far as pants goes, I mean things that are kind of cuffed up or something that can rest on top of here to show the entire shoe off will look good. Me, in my opinion though, I really do dig the look of a pair of pants that does rest on top of the shoe here, covering up most of it. Reason being wise, because it really leaves just a little bit of this gray, but then you can see you know this really intricate outsole really leaves a lot of focus on this outsole and midsole you got a little bit of the silicone panels peeking out and of course you got the nike swoosh kind of peeking out so you know you see that you already know what it is nike shoe as far as my overall thoughts and opinions on this space hippie i mean again nike really knocked it out the park with this shoe as far as the overall aesthetic the execution the cohesiveness and also the comfort because like i said these are very very comfortable way more comfortable than this but of course we know that you know luxury fashion doesn't really care too much about comfort in all like if i have to pick which one of these shoes are my favorite i mean as far as like flex appeal and everything like that i mean you gotta go with the speed trainer you got the balenciaga logo so you already know what it is but as far as practicality goes and everything this one by far, the Space City 03 just kills it. You know, comfort wise, a lot more comfortable. It's a little squishy with all that foam in there as opposed to just rubber. Aesthetic wise, you have a lot going on with it, but again, it's cohesive. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on with it, but it really, it really wraps it around it just great. I really get the intricate space vibes from this, from the outsole, so all these little wires going on with the upper. I just Nike, I just think Nike really killed with this. My only gripe about this shoe is that I know I just kind of went on a small little tangent about the things that I like and this upper but I mean these little wires I mean these wires are a little sketchy you know I feel like these you know could potentially rip real easily so I wouldn't do a lot of running or anything like that in this but yeah otherwise I dig it next up only thing left is honestly just the on foot portion I got a couple pairs of pants I want to style these with so you guys let me know what you guys are feeling how would you guys style these shoes more importantly though which one of these shoes are you guys going for? The ones, the twos, the threes, the fours? So which one are you guys feeling? That out the way though, make sure you sit back, subscribe if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. If you like this content, if you guys wanna support me, that's really the biggest way you can kind of help me get out there, just share it, all right? I'll see you guys in the next appointment. Hope you guys have a good day.